Hey guys, welcome back. We are on our way. It's like 1.30 on a Saturday afternoon. And we're gonna go to what our little town calls Salmon Days. We've done it on camera like once or twice before. I don't remember how many times I've actually filmed it. Um, but it's really fun. The kids are excited about it. Except they had a really rough morning. So we won't talk about that. But we are trying to find parking. So I'm gonna put this down and then we're gonna to go to Salmon Days. We are in the heart of salmon runs and that kind of thing, so that's why they do that. There's carnivals and booths and all that kind of stuff. And, ooh, I think I might have scored a spot. Except we're I don't wanna be this far away. away. Yeah. yeah, we don't wanna be this far away. We're not going to the carnival. Yeah, the carnival is right ahead of us, but, and that's where Kaylee, I think, is gonna go back. She was there last night. Yeah, I know. The carnival's really fun. We'll show it a little bit here. I know, the carnival is really fun. So the carnival is really fun, and I feel bad not going to the carnival, and you know, I feel bad every year. I know, they never go. The problem is it's $25 a ticket. $22 a ticket. Um, so it would be over $100 for just the five, four of us, you know, five of us to go. Kaylee is paying for her own ticket to go with her friend. Um, so anyway, I feel bad, but it's just really expensive. So we go and do the fair stuff and it's still really fun. And I'll get them a small snack while we're there. All right, so we went ahead and paid for parking. <laughs> they have a church parking lot. That, oh dear. For like $10. Yeah, it was like 10 bucks. Yeah. So I went past one of the churches where I used to park at and the girls said that they actually had a closed sign. They weren't offering parking there, so. We're literally just up the street from the carnival, so and we're just, we got. oh, we got free donuts for we parking there. Donuts. I mean, honestly, like free donuts. They have hot chocolate too. We might get when we go back, yeah. but um, I mean, they're top pot donuts and they're worth $3 a piece. So Penny just especially paid for her own cookies. donuts and a good parking spot. So okay, especially the cookies there, delicious stuff. The cookies at top pot? Yeah. Um, the, tell why you had cookies all the time there well that's because since um in preschool my friend um my mom would drop me and my friend off at preschool and then yeah. his dad would come and pick us up because when he got home from work it was like about the time that we got done with preschool he'd come pick us up and sometimes we'd go get top pot yep. and then when we got home we'd finish the cookie and then we would eat our apples yeah and us two moms didn't learn about that for <laughs> quite a while. So, let's go to Sam and Dee's. So Chelsea thinks this is for Grandma and Grandpa. And this one's Grandma and that one's Grandpa.
you have fun? Are you tired? No? Did we have fun? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. We had fun. But what you don't see in all the cute montages is all the crabby attitude. <laughs> and I'm never in the shot because I'm here alone. And they don't want to pick up the camera. So now we've got to trek back up the hill to our car. <laughs> and fun is to come and relax. So part of what makes today and this weekend more unique than any other weekend and I know that this is why there was a little bit more contention in our home this morning um, part of that I didn't really discuss a whole lot one just because it's a private matter within you know the kids I don't want to like throw all of them under the bus or individually throw them under the bus with the behavior that we had this morning but I know that part of that kind of fight back this morning was because of my intention to watch what we call General Conference. We are LDS, Latter-day Saints, and we, on a semi-annual basis, watch a conference on TV. It's broadcast on TV. We could go to the major conference center in Salt Lake City, Utah, where they actually have the conference, but it is broadcast on TV and online at LDS.org, and within um, church buildings, um, throughout the entire ward, you can go and watch the broadcast at church, bu church buildings as well. I love it because it's in the comfort of my home and I can sit here and I can listen and take notes and I really, really enjoy watching these sessions. It helps build me up spiritually. It helps me figure out how to be a better person, a better parent, a better wife, um, that kind of thing. But I know that my desire to have this in our home on a semi-annual basis, even just this one thing, this one weekend of watching these conferences over two days. I don't know how to say it. I mean, it's Satan's way of trying to fight back. He knows that um, I'm trying hard to better myself and better our family, and he fights back with attitudes and disagreements and contention. Um, contention is of the devil. Without going into a lot of religious things, I, I didn't want to skip over this portion of what our family is and what things mean mean something to us as a family and to me individually um, because this is my channel and I get to <laughs> say what I want to say and what I don't want to say and it is something that's important to us and I know that it's not easy for me as a parent and for Jason to I don't want to ever force religion onto my kids by any means but it is my job as a parent to teach my children at the same time. It's my job to teach them temporal things. It's my job to teach them, you know, help them how to learn how to read and help them learn how to do chores and save money and earn money. Those are my job, that's my job as a parent. And as, a, as such, um, part of what we choose is religion. And so until they're an adult, um, I want to teach them the things that I want them to learn and there's some fight back going on with that. <laughs> so, and I'm not gonna say who, and that's fine. But it is still my job as a parent, and Jason's job as a parent, to help guide them and help them make the right choices in life. And then when they're an, an adult, they can, and even as a youth, they have, um, and a child, they have those opportunities to choose right from wrong. I'm not saying that they don't have that choice, but you know, part of the changes that have happened in our church, without going into a ton of details, because it's really, you know, more of a personal thing. Um, and I, I drew a picture, I draw pictures. I'll show you my notebook here. It really like explains just visually the concepts that our church is changing um, over the course of the past six months to a year. Um, and I think these changes have been needed for the past many, many years. So it's, it's good changes and it's, it puts the responsibility back in the home. So let me show you just one picture that kind of helps maybe explain why this means something to me and you know, just that kind of concept. 
All right, so this is my notebook here, and without going into detail on that one, I just take notes. I, these are the speakers. I highlight those and the words they talk about. This is last year's conference, April's conference, um, and I just kind of doodle and I draw things that help kind of help me remember what I've learned and whatnot. So let me go back to this picture here. A lot of the changes that our church has been making has making it been making it a home centered church, um, and so without going into a lot of religion, um, this is just the picture that I drew today. Um, that it's my job to teach nur you know spiritual nourishment to my children, and to have gospel learning within our home, and to have strong relationships, and um, I think that's why it's been so important to me today to have um, not only the opportunity to listen to these. Um, lessons, but also to have a good spirit within our home. And that's what our church is trying to do right now, is to have that peaceful feeling within our home. And in order to do that, we need to teach in our home. That's kind of what I've been doing today. I've been watching these conferences on TV. I've recorded the afternoon session. And so we went and did the salmon days. Um, the kids, Chelsea is off playing. Kaylee's back at the carnival. Ashley's sitting right here by me in a costume. <laughs> she wants me to show you what she's wearing. No, but um I just wanted to come down here. Oh, you did? Um, but I'm watching that pre-recorded session for the afternoon session because I it means something to me. Jason is on his way home from work. He's actually at Costco <laughs> because he found my s'mores. And he said one bag is not sufficient for the weekend, so he went and got another bag. Did you know Daddy's on his way home already? He's going to be home. I'll show you your costume in just a second, okay? Anyway, um, that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. I don't think I'm going to film tomorrow because that's, that's our Sunday. And um, again, it's a repeat. And we're going to be watching conferences and talks and lessons and learning how to become better people. Um, if we do any kind of fun, you know, family activity, if we go for, we like to go for a walk or go to the park together as a family, especially on these conference weekends where we're not physically going to a church building, um, just to do something together as a family. Um, but we don't like, we're not going to go to the carnival at our salmon days. We're not going to go to salmon days. Um, we are going to keep things home centered. <laughs> Just the whole basis of the changes that we're making as a church. I just wanted to explain that to you guys. I don't, I'm not hiding my religion, but it is a very personal thing. But I also want you to know that it is important to me. I want you to know that like, um, I care about my kids and I care about what they're learning and who they're becoming and I want them to become good people. And so if you're ever interested in anything that I talk about in terms of church or, you know, the activities or like these conferences, you can go to LDS.org. You can watch these conferences yourself. They're, you just click right in and you can start watching. They're really, really good and it teaches our youth how to be better kids and make the right choices and how to be a better parent. You don't have to be a member to watch these conferences. It's not a secret, but I didn't want to like kind of skirt over that part of my weekend because it's so important to me, but I also don't want you guys to feel like I'm shoving religion down your throats because that's not my intention either. Um, I only have a few viewers who are members of the same church as me. And so I don't want you guys to feel left out if you don't understand like our lingo, because there is a lingo that um, outside people may not understand. And so if you have any questions, you can leave comments below. Um, I will leave a link to the website if you are interested in it. But by no means, I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to shove that religion down your throat. Like I said, it's just what we are and what we believe and what I'm doing this weekend. So I'm gonna show you Ashley's cute costume our neighbor just brought her. And I don't think it's what she's gonna be for Halloween and I'm not sure if they gave us the costume. Um, I'm gonna have to check with mom on that, but um, she looks really cute in it. She wants to take off her underclothes and wear it as a real, oh, you did. No, or do you, you still have a shirt on? Yeah. Anyway, let me show you what this costume is on her. It's really cute. Turn off your iPad and bring me the snack. She took my snack. No. Bring me my snack. <laughs> yes. No. Looks like Daddy's not the only one. I have to tell you a funny story about Daddy and these snacks. Give it to me. <laughs> 
So these snacks, last night, I'll tell Ashley at the same time. Oh, here's her costume really quick. Cleopatra, right? She has no idea who Cleopatra is. Yeah. But I like the headband. The headband is really cute, huh? You just kind of... Yeah. You kind of feel fancy. She has no idea. Okay, so funny story <laughs> with these uh, s'mores. Last night, Daddy came in and he said, Oh, what is this snack? And so he did what you're doing and he tried it and he said, this is really, really good. And he, you know, kind of munched on him and he's like, oh, I better stop eating him. I'm going to go to bed. And he started to walk away and he had this big grin on his face. And he says, oh, I can't lie. I already snuck some of these <laughs> earlier tonight. Um, they're really good, but I've already had like my portion of them. <laughs> anyway, which is why he is now at Costco getting more of these because they're super good you guys I didn't show you in the car some of them have just a thin layer of marshmallow some of them are in big clumps find one with the puffy oh that one was a puffy marshmallow one. Oh, yeah okay so some of them are flat let me see if it'll focus there you go see some of them are puffy and then some of them are thin oh the screen wants to focus on me now anyway they're so good, and they're they're rich enough that you only eat a few, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna go back to watching conference. We'll continue on our night soon. Jason's back. <laughs> back. <laughs> he came in time to watch part of the last session I was watching. And then they also have like a women's conference that um, is kind of a live one that, or they can go, to, women can go to the church with their daughters and watch it in person, which I wasn't able to do tonight because I wasn't, he wasn't able to get home in time. And I've lost my oldest babysitter and Abby would have gone with me. So then I lost my youngest babysitter. So just watched it um, broadcast from home um, with the whole family, everyone that's here. And it was really good. And we kind of ended our night on a better note and some changes that were made that are really good for our church and our youth so it was fun to watch with him too so i'm kind of glad we didn't i didn't go because it was fun to watch i don't know it's just fun yeah. i explained conference a little bit to them so anyway um now we're tired it's like eight o'clock we just ate dinner super late um, it is Saturday night, so it doesn't really matter. We don't actually have to get up and get ready to go to church tomorrow. We're just going to watch from the couch. So the kids are upstairs, hopefully brushing their teeth and getting ready for bed. And we're going to call it a day. I'm exhausted, but I had fun at Salmon Days. And one of these years, maybe he'll get to join us for Salmon Days. I don't know. It's fun. It's my hair all Because it's 8 o'clock at night and we're tired and done for the day. So anyway, you guys. Take care and have a good night. Don't know when I'll see you again next, but you'll see me in like one day as my editing goes. So take care. Night. <laughs> wow, you didn't actually clean your room. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera off and you gotta hurry and clean. How long do you think it'll take you? Um, like two minutes. Two minutes? Okay, I'll do a timer. <laughs> Should I do a timer? Yeah. Okay, let's do a timer. <laughs> I'm sorry, so I'm gonna Okay, timer is set. <laughs> Here you start it. Hurry. I'm not sure that the timer's still going. 13 seconds, hurry. get dad out of this bed. Right, Chelsea? Here, I have a trick. <laughs> get out of my bed! <laughs> Alright, get daddy out of the bed. Time to go to bed. Chelsea's been reading today, so she's good on reading. I'm not. And you, it's just late. We'll do you in the morning, okay? Get in. Ten minutes of screen time. Ten minutes. Set your timers. All right, good night, Chels.
Right. Mahalo. Mahalo. And just because Abby doesn't think she's getting filmed right now, I'll film her. I know. Anyway, you had a good day? Okay. She doesn't, you're not on camera very often, so. It wasn't super easy at seven days, right? No, it wasn't. All right. Good night, everyone. I cut him off. Say it again. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry. I don't know your thoughts and what you're going to say. So I just, I'm, I'm automatically. To it. You cut me off like all the time. Okay. Well. Why are you wearing I'll be on the videos more because I'm going to start having days off. Oh. So I'll be back in oh my gosh. There's a lot of noise in here. No, we'll Dad's still leprechaun. Day. Dad's a leprechaun. He's got green yeah. and he's, he's got green scrubs green. on. I don't know how you got scrubs. Well, you need to get it more it's top I know. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Go to bed. Good night.